Hello, welcome to Office Hours with the Math Sorcerer, Episode 2. In this episode, I'm going to be answering a question that I received from a viewer. Her name is Annabelle, and she is from Sweden. The subject is, I want to give up. The message reads as follows. Hi, I'm Annabelle, 34-year-old from Sweden, a new member of the Math Sorcerer. I'm going back to university in autumn of 2023, and I need math to get into psychology. I forgot almost all high school math. There is an exam on March 25th, and it will help me with my application if I do well. But two months, I don't think two hours a day will help me, so I'm thinking of giving up. Any tips? Thank you in advance. Sincerely, Annabelle. Annabelle, thank you a lot for your question. I do have advice that I can give you, and hopefully this advice helps other listeners of the show. So the first piece of advice I have is to get a book for the subject that you are studying. If you don't know what book to get, check out my YouTube channel. I do have recommendations on books for various subjects. If you need an algebra book, you can find the advice there for algebra books. If you need a geometry book, same thing. But the book doesn't matter so much as long as you have a book that you can work from every day, that's what really matters. And as long as you put in the time every day, that's what matters. Which leads me to my second piece of advice, which is to study the same time every day if possible. Most of us have routines because we have jobs or we have other responsibilities. So we have to get up at a certain time and do certain things. So add studying math to your routine. For me, the best time to do anything that requires a lot of brain power like mathematics is the mornings. I've always found that mornings are better. There's an old saying in Spanish, which is my first language, which says, el que madruga, Dios lo ayuda. Translated to English, that means person who you know, wakes up early in the morning and studies, he's you know, blessed. He's going to be, you know, he's going to do well. And I'm sure there's something similar in Sweden. And I think that saying comes from the fact that after you sleep, your mind has had time to rest and you wake up and you feel rested and you feel refreshed. You might need some coffee first, but you've had a chance to rest your brain. And in my experience, I've done my best mathematics first thing in the morning. So try to study the same time every day. And my opinion is morning is better because that is when your mind is freshest. The third piece of advice I have is to use a timer. You want to use a timer that's not connected to your phone because you want to have your phone away from you. You want to have your computer away from you. You want to remove distractions. You want to be in a quiet, distraction-free area with a timer. You talked about two hours a day, and I do think that's a great goal, but I don't know how realistic it is for most people to sustain. I'm not saying you can't sustain it. I'm just saying most people would have a difficult time. My advice is aim for two hours and do 30 minutes minimum. Even if you just do 30 minutes a day, that is huge. That is such an incredible pro progression over time. If you do 30 minutes a day or seven days, that's amazing. That's 210 minutes. That's significant. And the fact that you're doing it every day, you're going to sleep, you have time to process it, then you do some the next day, it's giving your mind time to process all of the new information you're learning. Which leads me to my next point, which is that some days will be better than others. Some days you're going to wake up and you're just going to have an off day. I call those lazy days, days where you just need a break. You know, maybe there's other stuff going on in your life. Maybe you have you know, a family, a significant other, you have relatives, you have pressures at work. Life is hard and that makes math even harder because math requires extreme focus. So you're not going to have that every day. So keep in mind that some days will be better than others and it's okay to have a lazy day. Next point I want to make is that it's the consistency that matters. Okay. So even if you just do a little bit, it's okay. I mentioned trying to do 30 minutes minimum, but the reality is you might be having a really bad day where you just sit down and something is really bothering you and you just can't get your mind in the right place. On days like that, I recommend maybe going for a walk, taking a deep breath, talking to a friend, and then trying again. And if you still can't get yourself to focus, just take the day off. 
we all need breaks sometimes and you can come back really refreshed and recharged the next day to tackle that mathematics which leads me to my next point which is it's okay to take a day off so if you need to take a day off do it don't beat yourself up and remember that if you don't do well on the test things will probably still be okay i mean try to think about the worst case scenario maybe if you don't do well on the test you know you can still take the test again or maybe you'll be placed in a different class that you really didn't want to take but maybe there's still a path to reach your goals and i think you will reach your goals the fact that you're even emailing me this question and asking about this and considering studying two hours a day i think is amazing and i think you're going to do great lastly i want to say that remember that math is hard right it takes practice and time and the time aspect you have on your side because if you do it every day just a little bit you're going to be okay i hope this answers your question and i hope this helps other people out there who are trying to learn math and they feel like giving up remember math is hard it takes practice and time if you just do a little bit every day you will be surprised at how good you can get thanks for tuning in to this episode of office hours with the math sorcerer until next time good luck and take care